Hi CVESD community. Today I'm going to go over some common problems that parents are, and students are having when using an iPad at their house to access student applications for distance learning. So first of all, I'm going to show you that I previously downloaded some student applications that we use at CVESD. Some examples are iReady, Achieve 3000, Smarty Ants, Teams, and OneNote. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open Safari and I'm going to go to the district website which is www.cvesd.org and it takes me here and I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm looking for the blue square that says Outlook email. When I click on the blue square it's going to take me to my son's email login. My, you're going to enter in your student's login information at live. Dot, so your student's uh, email address is actually their student ID number at live.cvesd.org and you're going to enter that information and then it's going to prompt you to enter in your password. Once you log in, I'll show you the problem that parents and teachers are having and students are having using their iPad at home to access their single sign-on student applications. So this is where it takes you when you log on via the district website. And what's missing here, because it's just the website version of Outlook, you're missing the waffle. At, at school, these kids are used to seeing a waffle up here in the upper left hand side and when you would click on that waffle they would be taken to see all their student applications. So here's the quick fix on that is you're going to click on the refresh button for about two seconds and then request desktop site comes up. You're going to click on that and then the desktop version of Outlook is going to load. Once it loads, you're going to see the waffle that I mentioned earlier up in the left hand side where it, by where it says Outlook. It's right to the left of Outlook. You click on the waffle and then you're going to click on all apps. Scroll down a little bit and I'm going to use iReady as an example. Here's iReady. And I, like I mentioned earlier, I previously downloaded it to my device, to my Apple device. Once you click on it, it's going to open and it says SSO Launchpad, single sign Launchpad. The device is going to prompt you, open this page in iReady. When I click open, it's going to open the desktop the app that I previously downloaded to my iPad. And we don't have to enter in any of the student's passwords or username or password. This page here is giving me a warning because my iPad happens to be five years old and so it's telling me, warning, this app wasn't built for this iPad or the iOS version. So some features may not work as well. Here is a list of iPads and iOS versions that are fully compatible with our app. Tap the green arrow button to continue anyway. So I might be experiencing this problem because I haven't used this iPad in a while and it is missing some important updates. So you can try to push those update, updates through and that might resolve this issue. So I hope that helps you guys who are uh, experiencing the problem of not being able to access single sign-on applications using an iPad. Have a good day. Bye.